Hello, hello. I will readjust my cameras. And welcome to yet another Saturday of Pepper Plays. I am, I'm Pepper. <laughs> uh, Diva's in the background. Say hi, Diva. Hi, Diva. Mm -hmm. I knew I was going to say that. Uh, and anyway, so today we are catching up on some Diablo 3. We'll be starting season 23. So um, the season is new. The, excuse my nose, it's drippy and runny because the weather keeps changing in, in the OH. Uh, so the season is new. The game is not. So it's not necessarily entirely in step with the, the theme of <laughs> the show. But whatever. I do what I want. <laughs> I'm an adult. I do what I want. <laughs> So yeah, so I haven't, I don't think I've played a Crusader in quite some time. I think they're kind of fun. Um, so yeah, I'll be playing a Crusader this season and uh, Diva's bringing out a Witch Doctor. So they all have different attributes and are fun in different ways. I've played all of the characters multiple times. Uh, my favorite is Witch Doctor. I love playing the Witch Doctor. And the Necromancer. Those are my two favorites. What are your two favorites? Um, probably the Necromancer and the Crusader. Crusader. Actually. Yeah. Not that I, I, I do enjoy the other characters. I have enjoyed them, but those are probably my, my top two favorites. I, I tend to enjoy ranged characters, but I also enjoy playing ranged characters as melee characters. So... You know, I'm weird, right? <laughs> I do. I really love just running into a group of monsters and annihilating them all. That's my favorite thing to do. It's very, very uh, therapeutic. I like it. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so we're starting season 23. So we've clicked the seasonal option. You don't have to do these things. You don't have to play seasonal characters. It's just something fun we like to do. Uh I usually name all of my characters warrior something. I don't, it's a thing I started. I'm just sticking with it. What did you name your witch doctor? He's my old witch doctor. So it's Zambuja. Oh, so you rebirthed uh, an old character. Yep. Yeah, you can do that. So when you, when you fill up all your character slots, you can rebirth characters. So I'm going to go ahead and create my crusader. And then it prompts you, lets you know you're doing a fresh start. You don't get all the things. You start from scratch, blah, blah, blah. I get it. I know. So, but what we are going to do is um, change the game settings. Did you already do that? Should I just join your game? Yeah, I just joined my game. Oh, should we do a rift? We should start this game and then go do the weekly. Yes. Oh, we have to start the game? We've had this discussion before oh, and right found on. out that if you don't at least start your character and log into it, you do not get the bonus. Bonus. Anyway, so here we are. We're going to move to adventure mode. We haven't actually played the campaign in a while. You don't have to start any of that. Oh. You just need to join my game. Join your game. I'm going to do a quick join over here and satisfy my life partner's request. <laughs> And then once you're in, we're going to immediately leave. So we're in the game. The game is set. Then I will leave the game. And then leave the party, right? Yep. And then I'm going to go to game settings, go to challenge rift. Ooh, it's a wizard challenge. What's up with this wizard? <sighs> Tell Rosh's. Ugh. So challenge rifts are fun. They're a weekly thing. They're different. They're super random. So this is a Tal Rasha set. So if you're familiar with Diablo 3 at all, um, you'll know what this does. It's um, Tal Rasha's is the arcane set, right? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like they have it mixed in with Og Child's, Og, Og Hild's. Authority, I'm going to pronounce things awfully, terribly. I do my best. That's all anyone can do. Um, for damage reduction and increased damage to 
things. Are you already doing it? Yeah. That that is he just goes right into it. Um, cold skills increase, cooldown skill reduction. What do we do? Damage of arcane orb is so it's really an arcane orb. Yeah. Just want to fire off that business. Well, it's just about using each of your abilities once to build up the stacks. Um, and then just cycling through the four attacks, including your, um, oh, to get the trigger of the other things. Yeah, including your teleport. Which is one of your oh. abilities. Teleport has a cooldown. I might have to move that. What is this? This is, oh, magic missile. I was like, I don't think I've ever used that ability. Yeah, and it's on a weird spot, too. So electrocute is what's going to regenerate my fuel. Arcane Orb will deplete that. Magic Missile is weird. It's not an ability I use a lot of ever. It's interesting. Anyway, so we'll see how terrible I am. It's a pretty squishy build. Yeah. Get my parts. But it's a pretty fast build. So what do I, am I just arcane orbing everything? Yeah. I don't want to blow up. Oh, frozen. I missed that. Nope, I died. Yeah, like I said, it's super weird. I don't know that I'll actually complete it, which... You might. I've died twice, and I'm still 35 seconds ahead. Where is he? Just die already, you jerk. And so mostly you just have to know that your the primary damage is your arcane orb, but you still have to cast everything else. I have not played Diablo in a while, folks. And it shows. Well, but there's like no... You have no damage reduction. Oh my god. Well, it, but you do. You have damage reduction in those items, but... No. Not really. Not really? Not for whatever level of rift this is. Well, and it's not even a good teleport. Well, because it relies on... Um, the cooldown effect. Yeah. Run away. I'm not going to make this challenge rift. I already know that. But I'll do you it. You just got to go. Like, it's just about moving. Well, I'm going to die if I don't kill these things. Yeah, you have to move. Like, But you'll kill things fast enough that you'll make up the death timer. Like I said, I've died three times now. And I'm still a minute ahead. everything hits so hard <laughs> but you kill like the elite super fast you kill everything super fast as long as you have the stacks of the um archon sure it's not what it is but no you're right it's not um the three stacks of your set or your four stacks of the set and then the three stacks of the triumvirate. Oh, well, it's nice that I just teleported right into that wall. That was super awesome. Holy cow. Yeah, I just ended two minutes short. Like, you just got to keep moving. Even if you die. Because I died three times. <laughs> so if you were a little better with this build, like you could probably do that sub four minutes. That was crazy. 
Well, it's very densely populated, so that's nice. Yeah. It's nope, it died. Yeah. Yeah, I spent most of this rivet like a sliver of health. <laughs> And so we just had to keep pushing. A lot of it's not spending a lot of time in the area. Like, you don't need to mop up everything. Oh, I'm not trying to. I'm just trying to... You also need to teleport every time it comes up, because that's your fourth stack of your... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I see. I think I got the flow of it now. Oh, get out of there. No. <laughs> I died there. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And then I died again immediately above where you are. Most because there's just a lot of stuff right there. Oh, no. Poison got me. So, guys, the whole point that we want to do these challenge rifts is because since you're starting from scratch, you're starting from scratch. So you have no gold, you have no nothing, and the challenge rift gives you that extra little boost that you're missing. So it's just a nice little safety net to start the season with. I might have to just run this one more time. Yeah, well, you just took in the early areas. Yeah. Like, you just got to oh, go. Well, and I didn't really get the groove right away either. Yeah, it is weird. It is a weird. No, I don't want to die there. Because the other thing that it, it really wants you to do is remember that you have um, whatever the crap that item is that reduces your cooldowns by 10 seconds whenever you kill an elite. So, like, your teleport has no cooldown as long as you kill an elite every however many oh, right on. 15 seconds. Well, and he's not even hard to kill. No. The challenge, yeah, okay. That wasn't bad. I can probably do it the second time. I'm going to take... It's always, it always takes that little bit to figure out, like, what was this person thinking when they put this build together? <laughs> oh, that's nice. Hmm. My my tea today is is a yogi tea. Um, honey lavender, stress relief, soothing serenity blend. It is tasty. I guess yogi has a little inspir. I don't buy a lot of yogi tea. It just sounded like a nice tea. Um. Oh yeah, that when what can we appreciate in this moment? This delicious tea. That's what I'm appreciating. And my runny nose. Not actually appreciating my runny nose. Okay, so I'm going to run this rift again. Practice makes perfect, right? Yep. Already starting off better. Oh, infernal fire, not good. Hellforge, bad. Come on, die, you jerk. Oh, you dirty forker. Kill him finally. I 
God, it's the, hard a... part is, the hardest part about this for me was real was remembering that uh, teleport was part of the four stacks. Okay. Oh, right in front of the fire oh, again. That was magical. Power pylon. Oh, you dirty bird. No. No. No, you don't. Throw one of those behind you. <laughs> <sighs> You're leaving a lot of stuff behind you that's coming up and killing you from behind. Well, if I actually teleported away from stuff, that would be helpful instead of just teleporting back into it like that. Yep. Also, you can't let your stacks die because you lose all of your damage. There you go. I should probably not try to shoot into walls for five minutes. <laughs> well, I know. Oh, you farts. <sighs> and don't stop killing things to pick up bubbles. <laughs> There's just a balls to the wall kind of don't stop. Yep. And while that can be fun and exhilarating. You did leave balls back there, though, by the pylon. Don't forget the cooldown on your teleport is basically nothing after you kill an elite. You already went that way. You need to go up. Oh, fart. You're going the wrong way. Part of the problem is this is not a build you can walk into packs with. You need to be leading those packs with a with a frost orb. Oh, there you go. I kill him. Oh, nice. see, that's good. How'd I do? That's great. Oh, of course, you did it in like four minutes and 37 seconds, <laughs> whatever. Mine was six minutes and 54 seconds. No, yours was 523. Oh, 520. Well, oh, it was my personal best. Why is the, what's the personal best? I don't know. Oh, anyway. No, that, that was the target. Oh, the target. Oh, that was your last, that was your previous attempt. Oh, my previous attempt was almost seven minutes. So this time I did it in... A little over yeah, so five minutes. Five minutes. You shaved a minute and a half off. So, so that's that's better. I'll take it. Pretty good. So then, get my reward. Yeah, I don't. I don't care for that that particular build. It's weird. It's very active. Yes. Oh, I need to go to that. I'm in my hero. I'll just quick join Madiva. The cow level is a lie. 
it's actually not a lie. It's there if you know where to look. Shoot. No, I claim my... That. So then I get all of this awesome stuff. Most of it's crafting material, which is essential when you're starting, and gold. So now I have like 5 million gold. I have a bunch of crafting material that I didn't have before, which is now ethereally stored. Oh, here. So I got parts and dust and veiled crystal and 35 death breath, which is a vital resource. And then, of course, all of the... Um, what are these called again? What are these called? Oh, legendary crafting materials from each act. Oh, the ones that come from the bounties. Yeah. And so, having said that bounty thing, shall we go to act one and start bounties? Let's do it. So our method is typically when we play a new season is to jump in and just do bounties. Because you get more... Well, why do we do that? So, because you have to do it. It's part of the season journey right. anyway. Right. Um, so we're going to have to do them eventually. Plus, they give pretty good experience. And loot. And loot. Oh, the, there's an elite the, over here. The boss... Um, boy, well, we should be trying to kill this right away. <laughs> what are we? Oh, we're an expert? Well... Uh, a lot of experience. Now we have 25% experience. Anyway, you were saying about the... Um, the chests that... Um, elites... Or that uh, bosses have in their rooms when you kill them in the act mm -hmm. are the first places you can get yellow items so as you're leveling up right um it's the easiest way to get i already got a better sword significantly more powerful stuff did you get anything i got a chest piece with increased gold and whatever pickup i always like starting over with the season because you're like oh because you're the way the skills unlock obviously are you know, skills unlock with the more you play the game and the more um, advanced your character becomes. So better skills unlock at higher levels, blah, blah, blah. Everyone knows that kind of tried and true business. And so I like it because then you're like, oh, I love this skill. Like you, Because when you get your character becomes advanced, then you just kind of a lot of times forego your early skills because you're like, oh, I have these way better skills, but your these early skills are, are pretty decent too. Right? Well, and you sort of, when you, the, the farther you are in the game, the more sort of locked in you get to abilities because that's how you, like that's end game. End game is you get a set that has a set bonus that benefits, you know, a small group of skills. And so that's, those are the skills that you use. Yeah. And so it's it's fun to be able to play with the early early game skills. Oh, you know what we've, I forgot to do anyway? Hmm. Add a pet. Oh, yeah. What pet shall I add? What goes with my crusader? <laughs> we've missed the last two seasons, pets. Yeah. We're down some pets. Um... What does go with my crusader? What are you picking? Ms. Madeline. Oh, oh my god. Ball. Bear. What goes with my crusader? Girls. I know. Must the neighbor dogs are any. out there. Must bark at all the things. There's some creepy pets, FYI. Yeah. I'm just like, um... The pet this season looks a little neat. Oh. A little lacuna cub. Oh, where's that? Uh, I think you can see it if you click on the... Oh, my good lord. 
their uh, the Great Dane just came up to say hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a big dog. Isn't she? She's just <laughs> ginormous. Our new neighbors have a Great Dane. And she's just huge. It's delightful. We like big dogs. We say oh, that. If you click on the seasonal journey. Oh. You can well, let's go look kill at the... the stuff. Okay. Oh god, run away from the big blast. I got pants. You got pants? And zombie dogs. What? <laughs> what did I get? I got a not better shield. Oh, you're fine, Zero. And shield glare. I like shield glare. Oh, did I get a rune on something? Oh, I got slash. No. What do you think is better, punish or slash? I have always liked Punish. Slash is neat, just because it has a wider radius to attack. Like, it's right. an AoE attack versus a single target. Mm -hmm. But I, I always like the block value that Bash gives. Punish? Or that Punish gives. But that's just my play style. Oh, did I just change it? Change it. Where'd you go? I oh, we, feed, we, we did the thing. I was like, where did you go? Ah, <laughs> uh, crap. I went to the Northern High Lands. The Northern High Lands it is. As you do notice, if you've been watching along, I have chopped my hair off today. It is very curly and bouncy because <sighs> Alyssa, my hair styling goddess, she is a goddess. I love her. Um, has cutted my hair and styled it ever so delightfully. If you have naturally curly hair out there, you need to find your hell, yourselves a naturally curly hair specialist because it is life changing. When someone who specializes in cutting naturally curly hair actually cuts your hair, is a elite pack. Life changing when someone who knows what they're doing. I'm going to die. Oh, that was good. Good job. You didn't even drop anything. Oh, I got something. Nope, nope, it didn't. That was garbage. I just got crafting material. Using some fire bats. Fire bats. Oh, that has a cooldown. Stupid cooldown. There, now I will blind you all, you evil goat men. I don't think this buckler is better than mine. No, it's not. But I can craft it. Woo! Oh, well, you're mean. Why are you so mean, guy? So, you know, when you start out, so we're on expert. What What's the, the first level that you can actually start out at? Normal. Normal. And so we usually up, up the difficulty because then you level faster, you get more experience faster. It does obviously take a little longer sometimes to kill things. I like how I'm trying to use buttons that don't exist yet for my skills. It's like, oh, what's four? <laughs> it's a little muscle memory there. No, I don't want to die. Not that this veiled yeah, crystal this, is going to save me. This might be a little much. The expert? Yeah. 
Run away! Until I can heal a little bit. Because, like, I haven't even... I've gotten no... Uh, weapons. So, like, I'm doing the same amount of damage I was doing. Oh, well, it actually started. helps if I hit the right button to drink my potion. I was like, why am I not drinking my potion? Where'd we find this tree? Yep. I killed it. But it's going to drop some poison. Yay! Good work. Keep getting pants. <laughs> Is that going to be the, the theme for, for this season? Well, probably. What did I'm surprised I you haven't gotten a furnace yet. I didn't pick anything up yet. He didn't give me any. Oh, no, wait. I, I auto-equipped. What did I auto-equip? Oh, some gloves. And and pants. <laughs> so the game automatically you can can you can turn auto equip off, can't you? I have no idea. It auto equip is one of those things that only matters for the first like hour of the game. Right. And tell you. So it just if you don't if your character isn't already currently have an item in the slot, then it'll auto equip whatever you pick up. We have killed 82 enemies, honey. 83. Yes, we have. Oh, man. Sorry, blinded him a little bit. Why was that easier? Because I got a weapon. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I auto-equipped some chest armor. Monster kills from, Grant two experience. I went from a three DPS weapon to a six DPS oh, weapon. Oh, you know what we didn't do? What did we not do? Rookie mistake. Oh, didn't. Oh no, we're starting from scratch. That's the other thing. Sh shoot. <laughs> I haven't played Diablo in a while. There's a. Goblin. Oh wait, there's a. Did you get that? He's right here. Oh, I didn't hear him. Why is he immune to my blinding? I think that's crap. I went back that way. Oh, you little bugger. There we I go. Didn't think we were, I didn't think we were actually going to get him. Right. Got a lot of stuff. And we completed whatever bounty this is. What were we supposed to kill up here? Just stuff. Oh. The sorcerer guy was who we were looking for. Who we killed a little bit ago. Oh, right on. Oh, I am always like two-handed weapons. Like, it says it's more damage, probably is more damage, right? Well, and with Crusaders, it's you can different because they have that ability other ability. To dual wield. A shield. Well, sort of, right? They can shield and, and a two-handed weapon, which isn't normal. Yeah. Correct. So, of course, they, they, they can. Do, can they even dual wield? Like, two no. swords? No. No. That's only barbarians. Uh, yes. So, as a crusader, the, you have the option to, in your primary weapon slot, have a two-handed weapon, and in your secondary slot, you can have a shield, but that's only once you gain that ability to wield a two-handed weapon and a shield. So, right now, I just have a two-handed weapon. At level 10. Yes. You can't use punish with a two-handed weapon, can you? Oh, I, don't, I didn't look. Where are you? Waiting Caverns. patiently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I would I would figure that out now before we try to start killing stuff and you can't do anything. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be able to use punish? Does it require a shield? Oh. I didn't even know that. That's weird. 
Oh, because it has the block thing, yeah. right? Okay. I mean, so you can switch to slash. Yeah. Which I don't believe requires a shield. But like, you're not going to be able to use shield slam or whatever. Shield. The... Yeah. But I can Which still I use shield glare. Also requires a shield. Can you? Without a shield? Oh, no. It requires a shield, so I can't even use that ability. <laughs> this is dumb. I don't have another ability. Ugh. And it sounds like you're not using the two-hander. What gives me more damage? Parts. Thank you for pointing that out. I just, I, I guess I didn't even notice that. Okay. Party on. And none of that matters once you hit level 10, but we got to right. get to level 10 first. We're not, we're not level 10 yet. It always helps if you have your fingers on the right keys. Oh, I did switch to sweeping attack. I like that. That my wrath oh, is low. Sweeping attack might not need a shield. No, sweeping attack doesn't, but my other two skills that I have unlocked do. <laughs> I picked up some My gloves. first pair of gloves. Are they better? Damage is always some key right now, right? Damage is key. Yep. Where are we going? We're just killing crap. Oh, right on. We killed Zelob the Venomous. <sighs> Fantastic name. Zelob the Venomous. Hi, sweet babies. You don't need anything. I know you think you do, but I'm here to tell you that you don't. Maybe don't stand in the poison. I require more wrath. So if you haven't ever played uh, Diablo, is, so are, are there oh characteristics? I need help. Where are you? It was like right next to you and you decided to go a completely different direction. <laughs> Yikes. Well, it's just all this poison. Nope, I died. This is why I don't play hardcore characters. Uh, we're going to drop this down one tick. Oh, just die already, man. Well, standing in all this poison isn't helpful. I mean, you could move out of the poison. Well, it just seems like everywhere he goes, he drops a poison pool it's true luckily we are in this gigantic cave what did i pick up some boots they are not better than what i'm wearing <laughs> i will not be equipping them anyway what i was saying before um what was I saying before? Nobody knows. It was something about progression. The type of... So Diablo is an RPG, right? It is an ARPG. ARPG, right. I was just going to say an action role-playing game. As soon as I said RPG, it came out. I was like, that's not right. Oh, I leveled. So 
So it's an ARPG. Yep. Um. Oh, no, that's what I was going to, I was going to talk about. Um, so there are skills in, and uh, so answer me this, is this specific to this game or all ARPGs that um, you have a skill that rejuvenates your um, primary resource and one that depletes it? That depends on the ARPG. Okay, that's fair. Well, isn't isn't WoW an ARPG? WoW is an oh, MMORPG. An, MMO. well, an MMORPG, right. Well, isn't that kind of what they're doing essentially to Diablo then? Kind of. In Diablo 4? It's still an AR. So ARPG mostly refers to the type of gameplay, not necessarily the... Um, like the multiplayer aspect is, is sort of irrelevant. Because mm-hmm. um, ARPGs tend to be top-down asymmetric did, did we, we finish this this quest oh yep <sighs> you were saying um this is top-down you play you know you have your your skills the action is a little bit faster um like there's not nearly as much grind usually as opposed to uh mmos which are almost entirely group focused um have a pretty robust end game that revolves around some type of activity where a lot of people get together to complete things okay um and is generally three dimensional whereas this is sort of two and a half d where it's like the world is technically three dimensional but you only get to see top down this perspective, yeah. Right. I want to go this way. I got an arrow. Okay. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I thought you had an arrow. I did. There, I just didn't see it. There was also just a ton of crap to kill over here. Yeah, the chest. Oh, there's an elite down here, too, with the chest. I'm going to wait for you. And forget how to play momentarily. Oh, there's an elite back there behind the stairs. Let's go kill that first before we go down. Do you see it? Oh, yeah. So, in so the two skills that I have, the what is this? Punish and sweep attack. So, oh, and I just got another skill. So, the punish rejuvenates my wrath, which is my primary resource. And then the sweep attack depletes it, which does more damage. Well, hit the right button there. So now my wrath is depleted and I regenerate it with. Oh, did you, did you get a shield? It gave me not just a shield. It gave me a crusader shield. Oh, no. <laughs> I love you. I just got York's crown. Oh my god. Well, I don't have any gems yet, so... There's... Doesn't say we haven't even gotten any gems yet. <laughs> but I get plus three to experience. That'll be good, because I'm pretty sure I'm ahead of you. What? What do you have? Oh, how are you ahead? I'm, I'm like... I, I just leveled up to nine. I disagree. And so the sweep attack has a much, obviously, the benefit of the skill is in the name, has a much broader reach. That was fun. Now we gotta kill all this stuff over here. Got trapped behind the wall. Wait a minute. Let me see what I got here. Oh, I got a way better shield. Oh Do you my need god! A this is the first magical weapon I got. No, I mean, what? It depends. What's the damage? Oh, on? it's it's just a it's a white item, so probably not great. The damage no. is six. No. I also just got provoke. Oh wait, wait. 
passive. Did you do your passive? I did do my passive. I had my passive already. So oh, here's the skill that we were talking about. Um, it's a passive skill. Heavenly strength. You can wield a two-handed weapon in your main hand while bearing a shield in your off hand. Your damage dealt is reduced by 20%. So it's a, it's a give and take. So you have the defensibility. Is that a word? Defensibility? Sure. Or I can make it two words. Your defense ability. Aha. That works. <laughs> That's what the shield provides, that aspect. And obviously there are some skills that the Crusader has that you can't use without the shield. And then, um, so that that's the ability that we were talking about. But then the off, the off, the balance of that is then that your damage you deal is also reduced. So it's a, it's a give and take. A lot of times it it all comes out in the wash, right? Yep. Yeah. And then the other uh, passive skill you get right away is Fervor. While wielding a one-handed weapon, your attack speed is increased 15% and all cooldowns reduced by 15. So I'm going to stick with that for now. And I got yeah, prov chest. Provoke. Oh, sorry. Which uh, you can taunt all nearby enemies instantly, generate an additional five wrath. So that's good. So it's a little wrath regenerator, which is nice. I will take all of those things. Okay. Ready? Almost. Almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. So I would want to save using my wrath until, I mean, using my provoke until I was in need of wrath. Like right now, I will use that. See, it generated my wrath for me, which I can then deplete with my sweep attack. Everybody is happy, except provoke does have a cooldown. Although it has less of a cooldown because of my passive skill. So I can deplete my wrath using my sweep attack, provoke, deplete, and the cycle begins again, right? Yep. Always using my round of skills to... Did we do it? No. Oh, well. Not even close. That's fine. I got two things out of that. I don't know if that's better. I got you. an inferior dagger. <laughs> Some crappy boots. Oh, and and a demon hunter cloak. Nice. Right? <laughs> I threw you a weapon. I don't know if it's better than what you're using. Oh, it's two-handed. Yeah, it's better. So then... In order to use the skills that I want to use, I have to go to my skills, and in my passive, I need to hit the <laughs> Heavenly Strength one, which then, yep. right? Yep. Let's me dual wield this giant weapon and my shield. It's not, it's not technically dual wielding. It's just wielding a two-handed weapon in one hand. Yes, I know. Which I wouldn't be able to do otherwise. So, like, like the Barbarian doesn't have that ability. Like, you can't have it, Right. Not in this game. In Diablo 2, he did. Oh, really? You could do do wield? You could do... Not only could you do a wield, you could do wield two-handed weapons. Oh. Muy interesante. Okay, ready for the boss? It is time for the butcher. Oh, my elbow's mad today. Yeah, mine was mad yesterday. Follow. Follow. So then here, I'll deplete. Provoke. Woo! Oh, get out of there. Run away. Because that, like, sweep attack is great for these, like, dense packs of stuff. <sighs> Head into the butcher. And once 
we get up to uh, an acceptable uh, level, like I'm all about just getting to the business of the quest, like when we're doing a bounty run. When you're leveling up, it's kind of, you kind of don't necessarily have a choice about like just heading right to the quest because you, you're going to die in the process trying to escape all the stuff, right? And plus, you know, you're leveling up, so you want the experience of killing things. It goes hand in hand. Correct? Yep. Oh, man, this weather has just got to fork off. <laughs> I had... Because, well, so... I don't know about where anyone else is. Don't go through that door. That was the wrong way. Thanks, Arrow. <laughs> oh, I didn't go down the hallway down here where it probably was telling me to go. Yeah. That's awesome. Anyway, I don't know where everyone else is in the world, but on Wednesday, it snowed here in the OH. Yep. Two days prior to that, it was 70 degrees. Yeah. So the temperature dropped significantly. Um, and it snowed. Here. I did. It's right, right there. Here. So what's the um what's the gimmick with this season? Uh the gimmick this season is all about followers. Oh yeah. So they increase the number of um slots that followers can use and now you can benefit from certain sets and unique items that you equip on your followers. Oh fun, that's interesting. This does, however, not apply to multiplayer. Oh, right, because we don't get followers. Yeah. Well, that's dumb. Then what? Are the, what's the? There should be a cool thing for multiplayer. It's not this season. Oh, I disagree, Diablo, Blizzard, developers. That's poopy. Yeah, yeah it was an interesting choice. It is an interesting choice because I, I feel like Diablo isn't. I mean. We always played it. Like, very rarely do I play by myself, right? Yeah, I, I don't know that I've ever really played this game by myself. I mean, I, you know, I might do a challenge rift because that, that's a solo thing to do. But very rarely do I... Listen here, guys. You're going to die. So just give up the ghost. I mean, you're already dead. So there's that. Except for these cultists. <sighs> Which I think is inappropriate. I just, I can't help, but when I think of cultists, I think of Trump supporters. There, I said it. Because, because reasons. Did it again. I press buttons that I don't have skills for. <laughs> it's great. That was a nice little boost there. There is an achievement for number of healing wells you drink. Yep. Oh, I was like, why am I not moving? Oh, I ran out of wrath. That would be why you're not moving. What was over there? Is that there's a chest over here? I was like, I thought I saw something glowing. I get anything good? Oh, I got a wizard hat, so that's great. Better gloves. There's a chest over here. Slightly better to end a weapon. Better wraps. Where are you? Right next to you. Oh, fun. Just cast that spell the wrong way, so that's nice. I don't know if that's better for you, but... What did I get? I got a sly wand. I got a great weapon. <laughs> oh, here. Here's a, here's a rare voodoo mask. Ooh. The visage. Oh, that is better. Thank visage. you. Is that any better? It has no intelligence on it. Oh, are you kidding? That's dumb. And the, 
the crap he had I just picked up has 20 intelligence. What? <laughs> Bananas. Okay, let's butcher it up. The butcher. Isn't he like the original um yeah, Diablo one? Didn't you the first bad guy listen to me, bad guy the first boss you fight is the butcher, right? Correct. He is not this large in Diablo one. I want you to know. But he, he is, is bigger. Equally annoying. Oh yeah. My favorite is that that YouTube animated series, Diablo 2 animated series. I can't remember the name of it. I'm so sorry to the creator and animators, but it is fantastic if you played Diablo 2. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't so bad. And so we got some... Quest, what are the achievements? That's it. My words are just, oh, I have to get rid of some crap, apparently. Yep. <laughs> what did I get? Oh, I got better boots. I get a better, nope, that's not no, We're going to have to go to town anyway. Okay, I'll just go to town. Oh, I got some shoulders. Oh. I got a necromancer legendary. Oh, I need to level everybody up. Oh, is it a mace? Nope, it's a scythe. And so, fun thing, the original weapons that you start with in the game, they won't let you craft. So I, I sell them. It's coming back to pick up stuff. Just good to pick up stuff because it's you just picked up my stuff that I dumped you, but suck it. Uh huh. Because <laughs> you can turn it into crafting material, which is nice. <sighs> there, you can have that. I don't want your sloppy seconds. <laughs> oh, so I guess I should give up my legendary crown. Because this hat does better, more damage. And damage is the most important thing right now, right? Yeah. So I didn't get a better weapon. Everything else is garbage -eal. So I am going to train up my guy. Until oh we can are you did you train them all the way up? Yeah, I didn't mean to because I always want to not spend those death breath, but whatever, it's fine. It's only three. They only charged me one death breath. Yeah, but this is also um, an achievement when you level them up. And it's just good because you get better crafting, more recipes, more abilities, blah, blah, blah. That's the other thing that bounties do is they give you jewel crafting recipes that you wouldn't get otherwise. Starting at level 60. Yeah. But you, so that's the only place to get those is when you do bounties. There we go. All of my merchants have been leveled up. I have new skills. Oh, I forgot and... about Transmog Lady. <laughs> Did you just call her Transmog Lady? No. Yeah. What's the matter for you? This is what she does. Ooh, Steed Charge is one of my all-time favorite skills for the Crusader. I'm going to stick with my Provoke for now, just because it's a Wrath Generator, which is nice. I got some Laws of Valor. It's a, it's a nice skill, Empowering Law. As an active and passive component. So I got shield glare. Oh, I've got iron. Iron skin is a nice ability. 
which is uh, really key for a Thorns build, which is one of my favorite builds ever. Love the Thorns build. It's pretty fun. So I'll probably switch to Iron Skin if I do a Thorns build, but I'll stay with Shield Glare because it's a nice uh, crowd control skill. Oh, Blessed Hammer. That's your favorite. It is my favorite. It's such a fun ability. It is a fun ability. I'm going to stick with Sweep Attack, though. I'm going to go with the Blazing Sweep. Zero. Because I like They're, fire. They've been out there for like an hour. Well, they Same did people. something new. Nope, I don't think they did. Well, she thinks they did. I think it's because she saw it. What's her name? Daisy? No. Luna. Luna. Luna is the smaller <laughs> black dog. Oh, no, it's the other one, the Great Dane. Maddie. Maddie. So I now have Smite's an okay skill. It's neat. There's a set built around it now. Oh, is there? Oh, that's fun. It's the new set, isn't it? Oh, right on. So I don't like blinking things at me, so I tend to just go in and get rid of the blinking things. I find it annoying. Okay. Oh, I didn't open my cache. I know zero. What are those dogs doing in the yard? Huh? What are they doing? What are they doing? Where's your dragon? Where's your dragon? Go get your dragon. Go get it. Pretty sure it's downstairs. Go get it. Go He's get like, what? Dragon. What are you talking about? What? Where's your dragon? Go. Go get it. It's downstairs. Where's your dragon, Zero? Go get your dragon. Nope. <laughs> She'll eventually go get it. <laughs> 